What's going on today, birthday boys? I am your host, Eric Biggs. As always, JP's over there looking nice and cute in those gray sweatpants. Make sure you zoom in. <laughs> and today, we have a very special guest uh, coming to us with a freshly shaven head, <laughs> a mouthful of zen, and a whole lot of attitude. The one, the only. Hooch! Yeah! Okay. Thank you. Man, Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on. Very happy to have you here. We just learned you're also a nicotine addict. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like myself, it's nice. JP's just a pothead. So okay. I could never be like, oh, yeah, you know, we just got to go to the gas station real quick. You know, yeah. like, you just, so that's very nice. I like that. We got to start looking at them for sponsors, bro. Dude, yeah. I've been trying to go and talk about rogues on this podcast for so long. Because I'm like, <laughs> if we can get the, like... Dude, if you get a rogue sponsor, That would be so nice. It'd be so bad for me in health <laughs> overall, but it'd be so nice. It'd Just so get nice. cans shipped to my house. Yeah. Like, my apartment. I'm poor, so I need money. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I had a problem when I was talking to Nick and Hunter. V, sorry. Uh, and I was like, man, I can buy in bulk. It'd be cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I was like, if I buy 10 cans, 50 cans in bulk, it's yeah. like a dollar a can. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's always the issue. Like, because we, uh, me and all my buddies all used to chew. And you knew you were really into it whenever you started having the log, which mm. was five cans. Yeah. So once somebody started buying a log at a time, dude, it's that's it's, it's better. It is. It's cheaper. It's cost effective. It is. We're economical people. What can we say? <laughs> Got to okay. save on the pennies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like we're doing our best. All right. Yeah. Like that's all we can do. But uh, I mean, before we get too deep into the nicotine talk, um, you're a black hero icon. <laughs> That is that is true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is true. It worked on some might say Wakanda holds nothing <laughs> to the the Black Power Icon movie you Yeah, I worked on a couple of Black on. Icon movies. Oh my, did you work on Black Panther also? Is no. this is this where you're going to tell me that you only work on black films? <laughs> I, uh, you're like, "You know what? <laughs> I actually only do." Like, <laughs> Uh, when I do movies, they're usually because I work with uh, Francine Chugbick. Okay. She was the first black designer ever to be made in the designer guild for That's costumes. That's awesome. And she's been a huge mentor for me. But uh, yeah, so I mostly do a lot of her movies and it's a lot of just full black. Like I did Emancipation with Will Smith. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did The Piano Man, which will be coming out on Netflix with uh, Samuel Jackson. Badass. The Color Purple. Yeah, the Color Purple is coming yeah. out. I saw that post and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it's so, like, you're looking through the photo. It's so easy to find you in all the photos. Yeah. like, hey, oh, there's who's fucking <laughs> the only white guy yeah. in the studio. There's <laughs> usually only two of us in the apartment. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> that's, but that's so, how the hell did you get into doing that? Because you do wardrobe? Yeah, I do costumes. Okay, how the hell did you get into that? You're in Utah. You start off in Utah. Yep. A nice young Mormon boy. Yep. Doing all the good Mormon things, not drinking nope. soda, no alcohol. <laughs> That's fucking. a thing, not drinking soda. Isn't it? No. <laughs> oh, I thought you guys uh, were anti-sugar and shit, no. too. And caffeine. No, no soda, else? no turtlenecks. <laughs> <so>. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you can't walk too many steps on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, that's the rule. You got to crawl everywhere because that's what God wants. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so how, how did you get in get into this? Uh, so long story short, uh, I first started working out of high school on a farm in Utah. Mm -hmm. it put uh, irrigation pipes. Okay. Made all the pipes for uh, the state of Utah and Idaho. Nice. Did that for a year. And uh, my mom, she's a costume supervisor. So okay. it's a bit of nepotism. Gotcha. And she was working on Yellowstone, and then she just called me one day. She was like, hey, want to come and work? And I was like, I would love to. Walked into my boss's office, and I was like, hey, I just got, got the call to go to work on Yellowstone. And my boss looked at me, and he's like, get out of here. Yeah. He's like, don't even finish the day. Just well, leave. Yeah, I mean, any anyone in Utah, Utah yeah. Wyoming, <laughs> anywhere in the center of the country, you say I'm working on Yellowstone, they're like, <laughs> Leave. He really was. Leave. I'll like, help you pack. Yeah, for real. And that's a I, white icon show, dude. Yeah, yeah. that's fucking. Yeah, I've done some whiteies. <laughs> I do some white shit. Yeah, yeah. Hoorah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So you were. So you did that first. Did that first. Did I? Uh, I think season four or five. And then I met my mentor, Darren Manzer, because I do aging and dying for costumes. <laughs> Okay. So it's like I dye like, you know, those jeans um, and do all of the things. They either make the film look old 
and stuff like make oh, okay. clothes look old because gotcha. if it's ever like is there dirt on the shirt i'm the one that puts the dirt on the shirt type of thing mm-hmm. okay got it make it look yeah appropriate, appropriate for the scene for the scene for the age okay. period so i did that and then we got a call to go work on emancipation in new orleans awesome was supposed to be only for five months ended up being 12 months nice almost a full year that's nice yeah and yeah it was crazy uh, we survived a hurricane during that film jesus yeah yeah it survived covid and everything damn yeah dude god did not want that movie made. dude god did <laughs> god god was like no <laughs> yeah for sure dude god didn't want it god's we'll like sp- not another slave movie <laughs> <laughs> yeah which also that's kind of a white bummer film you know yeah. oh for like, sure Every time I see a new slave movie come out, and I'm like, who are they making this for? Dude, like, white goat for sure. <laughs> seeing, just... seeing like uh, extras background in like chains and stuff, and like you get handed a costume, and they're like, this is a slave. Make sure you like you add the whip marks, and you're just like, <laughs> oh my god. You're like, I, and then you do it really good, and like you did that too well. Yeah, you they're, like, I mean? they're like, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next time we're letting uh, Jose do this. Yeah. You're, you're not allowed. <laughs> not ever allowed. again. Yeah, so that was interesting. That's, so that's just how I got started in the film industry. That's awesome. Yeah. And you're going out to do another one, you said. Yeah. That's super exciting. So you said that's in Atlanta. Yep. Doing comedy in Atlanta? Yeah, Or is yeah. that like still... Because I know a lot of times movie sets, you're like 12, 14 hour days. Oh, easy on a light day. Yeah. Wow. So is yeah. it... How is it trying to work doing comedy and doing that stuff like kind of together? Is... So I uh, I started in Atlanta when okay. I first started. So I was working on a Netflix movie with uh, Zac Efron okay. when I started doing comedy. And I I work like sixteen hour days, and then I would go do two mics because that's a good thing about open mics. They're still mm-hmm. like super late. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. You you get your first one in at like nine, and then you can go do another one at one. Yeah. So I would do that, and then I would either sleep in my car, like, at the set. Yeah. And then just go up, go to work, sleep in my car when, like, I'm not working. <laughs> Where's it? He's napping. It got really <laughs> dicey sometimes, because I'd, like, go in my car, turn on the radio, and then just wait, and then I'd hear hooch on two, and then I'd be like, all right, that's me, and I'd just get up. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's a lot. I sleep probably, like, five hours when I'm, like, working on a movie, Holy trying to do cow. both. Wow. Yeah. Have you met any of the like bigger actors from doing that no yeah were any of them like really cool to work with or like is there anyone that you're like i would love to work with that guy more yeah uh will smith before I'm, i worked with him before the slap yeah so <laughs> yeah, just don't let thing. him find out you're a comic and yeah good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> do you do comedy no that's uh my name is that's yeah <laughs> 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 What the real name's for, right? Yeah. We ain't bringing that shit up here. <laughs> Pretty sure. Might need to bleep that out. Uh, <laughs> the, my real his name. name is Doug. <laughs> yeah, Doug Baldwin. Uh, Hunter Parker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, Will Smith is the nicest person in the world. That's nicest awesome. Nicest person in the world. There's like 300 extras on like every day of the set. And Will would dap up each one, do the Fresh Prince handshake. Oh, all shit. Guys. That's so cool. Like, you'd see just the That's line. That's so cool. And, like, the, the bodyguards would come up and be like, go, go, go away. Because they would swarm him. Yeah. And Will would be like, no, 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 it's okay. And then he'd just dab them all up, talk to them. Damn. Every Friday, he would give two people, a crew member, and then a background, $1,000, if you were just, like, working hard. And he saw it. Oh, damn. damn. Yeah. So, like, nicest person in the world. Wow. Zac Efron, too. Coolest down to earth person. That's that's cool. I like yeah. hearing that kind of shit about celebrity. Like yeah. I don't like hearing whenever they suck. I like Well I can hearing... tell you a couple that fucking suck. <laughs> well, well I mean I mean we're all for that too. <laughs> yeah. like, and, uh, uh what do their names rhyme with? <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll drop the name, I don't care. Yeah. They should know how bad they suck. <laughs> uh but yeah, Zach Efron, he, we came into the thing, came into the costume house, comes up right up to me because usually costuming it's like all women okay. you know what i mean i'm usually like the only guy yeah type of thing which sucks because you have to lift everything you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah they're like this is heavy yeah Ooh, like they're like this it. is heavy it's like yeah you get paid the same as me yeah lift that up you know what i mean sweetheart <laughs> but zach comes like right to me and he goes hey my name's zach efron what's your name and i was like uh 
But it, they, they call me Hooch. <laughs> <laughs> it's so wild that somebody like that still introduces themselves. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I, it's a very nice thing. It's very humble. Yeah. But it's also so funny to me. Yeah. Whenever you hear, like, Zach at, is like, hey, I'm Zach Efron. It's like, we know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and, uh, the people across the street realize that whenever you pulled in. Yeah. Dude, he did. It. And then he's like, oh, you're the age of dire. Like, he knew what my job was. Oh, that's cool. And he's like, oh, man, these that's shoes cool. are really cool. You're really good at your job. And I was like, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> what What movie were you doing? I was doing uh, Family Affair. Family Affair. Okay, is that out? No, nah, it should be coming out on Netflix soon. Okay. Nice. Okay, as I say, I, was like, I haven't heard of it. But also, I'm terrible with knowing movies. Yeah. There's so like, many, too, these days. Yeah, say, the, between the 17 different streaming sites and yeah. Netflix has a billion, like, th- they're just pumping stuff out constantly. Yeah. But um, that's super cool. I got to know. Who's the worst? We don't have to talk shit on a bunch of people, but who was, like, the who's worst? Who's the worst? Uh, there was, like, one person. She worked on that movie. I've worked with this bitch twice. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get the name right, so I'm going to have to look it up. Hell, yeah. That's awesome. She's an awful person, and I hope the world knows. <laughs> she is. The, here, here she is. Cast. Uh, Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman, okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Just like... Yeah, I love her. No, dude, she, you shouldn't. Really? Okay. She gives off bitch vibes. I, I get oh, it. Oh, dude. Uh, yeah, so she worked on that. I worked with her on that movie, and she would come in, and I was right by the door. So it's like, it's impossible to miss me. Yeah. And anybody would come in, I would always be like, hey, how are you? Type of thing, can I help you out with anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the first person at the door. She would come in every time, and I'd be like, oh, hey, and she would ignore me. That sucks, dude. Yeah. And I have a deep voice, so it's, like, really hard to you not to yeah. hear me. You yeah. know what I mean? You're very distinct. Yeah. And I'll, I look like this. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like, you're not missing this. You know? <laughs> I'd understand if I was, like, a small little twink, yeah. like, behind a thing. <laughs> but I'd be like, hey, like, how are you? Every time. Not me even making eye contact. She'd walk straight back to the designer. That sucks. Dude, an, oh, yeah. Awful person. <laughs> Awful person. <laughs> And then after I worked with her, I'm like, I hope I never work with this bitch again. Yeah. And then the next TV show I did in Baltimore, she was starring in it. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, that's, man, that sucks. It's, it's cool the amount of stuff you've done, though, because yeah. I think a lot, of, a lot of people that you meet in comedy, they haven't done a lot of, like, other creative stuff. Like, you know, yeah. independent stuff, maybe, but... The amount of like movies and shows and stuff that's very it's very cool. It is like, cool. Yeah. It gives you kind of a good little different reference on stuff. Also, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's it's interesting, like you said. Like most comics, like they don't have like a real career before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Type of thing. Like yeah. not to talk shit, but it's like I have like a yeah. very successful career. Yeah. You they're know what I mean? they're all just like, oh, I'm homeless. And <laughs> yeah. I, I steal change out of vending machines. Mm, and can I like, borrow a cigarette? It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, you're a bomb. Got yeah. it. Like, yeah. yeah. So that was been cool. And it, it helped me recently. I was talking to Rick Diaz. You guys had him on this show. <laughs> yeah. Great episode. Uh, and Rick was like, no, I live a good life. And I was talking to him about comedy because he's doing challenging Hans Kim. Yeah. And he's like, I don't care if I lose. Like, I have a wonderful life. Like, I have a great job a great family, you know? And yeah. that's when it finally hit me. It's like, oh shit, I have a great career outside of comedy too. Like, I don't yeah. need to do comedy. I yeah. do it because I love it. Yeah. I think that is the thing that separates the people that are going to do comedy for real or not. Yeah. Is because you have to do it whenever there's other options. Yeah. I think the people that are like, oh, I, I had to become homeless and this could be the only way. I'm like, I think that's so wrong. Yeah. Because I think having the other thing going on that's going fine and then being like, no, I'm still going to go out until two in the morning mm-hmm. and do mics and hang out and network with people. I think that's harder to do whenever you're like, and I do have the paycheck coming yeah. in. Like, yeah. I don't I don't need the ten dollars for it, this set. It, is true. <laughs> it also makes you just enjoy the art form more. Yeah, you know? absolutely. You're, you're like, no, like I want to write like I love yeah. Yeah, it's, I'm very blessed with the opportunities yeah. I've had. Yeah. Well, so... Are you into, like, movies, the business? Like, would you like to enter that realm, or is it strictly stand-up that you're, like, pursuing? Like, uh... In comedy-wise. Like, doing acting? Or, yeah, or like, like, comedic yeah. acting. Like, oh, would you be, like, on sure. a show, like, Workaholics, or... Oh, yeah. That kind of yeah. shit? 
That uh, that was my original goal. Is like I want to be an actor. Oh okay. no shit. Yeah, awesome. and I've uh, I did like one like real movie where I like it was actually like uh, the main villain, oh. Confederate soldier. You were a villain. Yeah, I was a Confederate. You mean a so- hero? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, son. <laughs> Cut that out, Jake. Come on, son. <laughs> Rebels will rise. <laughs> I. I. The racist <laughs> allegations will never stop. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He was getting paid. Fine. Yeah, I was getting paid. But yeah, when I started doing acting, um, and I'm in an acting class, Ivana Chubik, she's like one of the big acting teachers. She taught like Brad Pitt and everybody. So I got in her acting class, and I was like, man, like I'm not getting booked for like roles. Mm-hmm. And then my brother sent me a thing of Robin Williams on Instagram. He's like, Robin started doing comedy because he wasn't getting booked. And he just oh, fell okay. in love with comedy because it's like I can get up every night. Yeah. And like mm-hmm. somewhat do a form of acting. Yeah, you're always performing. Yeah, like I get yeah. to perform in front of people. And I was like, oh shit, I want to do that then. Yeah. And then I went to my first open mic and I just watched it because I was terrified to go on. <laughs> I watched open mic comedy for a month mm-hmm. before I actually got on stage because I was so scared too. Damn. Yeah. That's, uh, that's wild. Yeah. Because you're very, you're very natural on stage. But also, I'm sure that acting and things like that do help. Yeah. You know, whenever you're you're kind of used to people watching you and having mm-hmm. eyes on you. Yeah. But now I'm natural. When I first four months I started, I was that open micer that would do a joke, and if my first joke didn't get a response, and if it bombed, leave. I would leave. I wouldn't leave like the stage. I'd leave the room, and I'd <laughs> le- like leave the place, and I would call my mom crying. Damn. I'd be like, mom, because I've been pretty like good at everything I've done mm-hmm. in my life, like very athletic. Like in uh, the costuming world, like I was the youngest person ever to be in a head of the apartment for a Netflix movie. That's awesome. So it's like doing stuff I've always achieved very well. It's like very quick study, but comedy was so hard on me. Mm-hmm. And I think that's why I got so addicted because I was like, oh, I have to like try at this. Yeah. And yeah, I would call my mom and cry and I'd be like, I'm going to quit. I'm not going to do this anymore. My mom would always be like, just do one more mic. Just do one more. Do one more for me. So I kept on doing it, and then I finally got, like, a laugh, and I killed it on stage. And my stupid joke was, I'm a Mormon, and my one goal is I want to do three minutes. And if I can't do that, I'm just going to soak up some time. <laughs> and that got a laugh. It was so dumb. Yeah. Hey. So dumb. Hey, the, the layup's always there, right? Yeah, and got layup's a huge, always there. huge laugh, and I was, like, addicted. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I also like that your mom was into it. Oh, yeah. Because, but I guess with her having an arts background, things like that, she probably was uh, more understanding or got the comedy thing a little bit more. Yeah, no, I've been very fortunate uh, of having, like, such supportive parents, like my mom and my dad. I remember I was talking to my mom and dad, like, before moving here, because I was working on a movie in Atlanta. I'm not going to mention it because I'm about to go back to it, (laughs) and I say a lot of racist shit, and I don't want to lose my job. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, that is also why I go by Hooch and not my real name. It's so okay. Like, so if you do anything wild in comedy, it isn't directly connected. Yeah. 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 Um, but uh, my dad and mom, I was like, I was like, should I move to Austin? You know, like the biggest scene. And I was like four months in, five months into comedy. Mm-hmm. And both parents were like, yeah, you can do anything. Like you slept on an air mattress for two years, traveling the country doing movie stuff. Like you can go conquer Austin. That's awesome. So once they said that, I, I got my apartment that day. That's cool. And, yeah. That's good it's shit. Crazy. That's good shit. Yeah. I like that. I like hearing the, the supportive parent thing. Like, yeah. that's that's nice. It's good to have people in your corner. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not... Because it's hard sometimes to find a, a network of people. Yeah. You know, like, in scenes and things like that. So, having the, the supportive background is very cool to me. Because my parents also were very... Very supportive. Very supportive. I don't think my dad got it for a long time. Like, mm-hmm. until... He saw me uh, do a theater, and it was in a theater in his hometown where, like, he would go and watch concerts and stuff. Yeah. I've talked about it before, but um, I think he saw me on stage in this theater in the city he grew up in at the place he used to go see concerts and, like, went to, like, a Led Zeppelin concert there, and then, like, I'm on stage, and he's like, okay, cool. So, like, then he's like, I get it. Like, this is... Yeah, you know, like pretty well from then on. Like now, every time I talk to him, he's like, "You seen this special or that special?" Like, <laughs> yeah, that's like, awesome. Yeah, and I'm just like, "Oh yeah, yeah, whatever." Like, yeah. Um, I but, think that's also very good too. To yeah. like sometimes, I was talking to a comedian last night, and he's like, "Yeah, my parents aren't supportive." I'm like, "Cool, prove them wrong then." Well, yeah, 
Like, yeah. it's either you're going to have a supportive parent, and, like, that's amazing, because I yeah. think everybody deserves to have one person in their corner yeah. in life. absolutely. And I'm grateful I have two. But, uh, yeah, it's not prove them wrong. Yeah, like, that's be, even better. Yeah, then be like, guess what, bitch? You don't get to get in the mansion. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. not welcome. Yeah, I have a lot of people <laughs> I, I have the proving wrongs, but, yeah. like, my parents are so supportive. Yeah. So, yeah. for doing the movie, for doing a movie, I'm glad, I like that JP brought this up because I was thinking about this also. To me, I think you're the perfect personality for the funny guy in like a military movie. Yeah. The fucking uh, the guy Chris that's gonna Pratt. die quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was I was gonna put you with like the the Chris Pratt kind of yeah. thing, where like you start off as a comic, and then like next thing you know, you're like this guy's murders everyone. Like, yeah. Yeah. So I didn't know if you had that kind of those kind of thoughts. It's neat that you wanted to be an actor at first. Yeah. Or in. I guess still do, still have a lot of those kind of ambitions. Oh, yeah. You still try out for anything? Yeah, or? we should make a fucking show, bro, or a yeah. movie. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you guys should. No, like we've, we've, we've tried to make up, like, improv shows here on the show many times before. Yeah. yeah we have uh, some pretty good stuff. We did a superhero movie where Eric was uh, a flamer, right? Yeah, I was a flamer. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I caught on fire. Ooh. Like the Human Torch. Human Torch. But it what sounds- was your catchphrase? Uh, I'm gay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a flamer. You know? <laughs> AIDS, burn on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What superpower would you, do you think you'd have if you were a superhero, bro? Oh, dude, I'm glad you asked this. I was talking about this the other day. Uh, Wolverine's powers, dude. If oh, I could have metal okay. claws and, like, yeah. be able to regenerate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... I would <laughs> so many homeless people. <laughs> I would... <laughs> do you have a dollar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop Please. being on the sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Just Shit. just the claws you wouldn't want to so it's mostly the claws, not the living forever type oh, of no, thing. Oh no, I would want to live forever. Oh that too? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh okay, okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Let me have like twenty different white life wives. Yeah. <laughs> like, different life periods. Oh for sure. Yeah. See that's I uh we've we've have we talked about the living forever thing before, JP? Maybe, yeah, a little bit vaguely. I okay, think. see, because I always think that like it would start off and you'd be like, "This is dope," mm-hmm. and then it would get to the point where you'd be like, "Where is the right thing to kill me?" <laughs> like, oh no, dude! <laughs> I see all yeah all those negative people with yeah. living. Up. It's like, oh, you're gonna have to watch everybody die, and <laughs> <laughs> and I get to live. Yeah, <laughs> God, I think I'm gonna find another person. <laughs> <laughs> what you think? I can't make new friends, <laughs> <and> pussies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great, I'll date, you know, this black girl for a year, be yeah. married, have kids, <laughs> leave her, get a nice agent after, you know, yeah. and try out that soup for a little bit. Yeah, or. dude, you could completely just, like, spread your seed all over the earth. Dude, you could try all the flavors. Yeah, just ditching families, abandoning children. No, they just die like, off. Oh, okay, I was thinking yeah. you just abandon, just like, eh, no. hey, whatever, screw them. No, I'm white, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> I, guess, I guess also, if you have forever to live, it's not yeah. like you're... What wasting eighty years? You know, no, it's the little drop. You know, yeah. it's like yeah. dog ears. For yeah, <laughs> <laughs> drop in the bucket. No, mm. it's whatever. Yeah, yeah, no, it'd be amazing. That's what. What would we, your powers be? Um, mind control. That's psycho. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. That's that producer that, brain. Yeah, that's. Uh, that's yeah, I, I Suck could have. My dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. exactly, bro. I'd have like an army of people just like licking my nipples all yeah, day long, yeah. bro. Just lined up and shit. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, he's big into getting his ass ate. So you like it? Be... You like getting the salad tossed? It's it's happened before and it's come up on the show. Yes, and we're just gonna go with it. That's yes, crazy. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> Man, he's pro it. He's oh. all for it. <laughs> so uh, we invited you here today, Hooch. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad you don't have that mind control. Just like, Hooch is like, no, no, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, that's even worse, the idea that he could control you yeah. while you actively, like, don't, don't, want, to do don't want to do it, but you're doing it. That's that's horrifying. You're just closing your eyes like, no. <laughs> that sucks. Why couldn't you at least shave? Yeah. <laughs> No. Why does it smell like tuna? <laughs> Eric, I'm gonna need you to burn these off real quick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I think if you could like pick superhero wise, I'd go fucking Spider Man all day. Yeah. yeah. Fucking yeah. climbing buildings and shit. See, I always thought Spider Man was cool, but I grew up in too small of a town. So every time I'd like think about like, oh, you could be Spider Man, but I'm like, it'd be point yeah. useless here. J- jump on one building. Yeah, it's like you have one two-story building in town, and you're just like up there like, I patrol these streets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, 
<laughs> Where are the crackheads at? <laughs> no jaywalking. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Yeah. No, I was a huge Spider-Man fan as a kid. But I feel like once you hit a certain age, like, once you become a man, you can't be a Spider-Man fan anymore. That's... I guess that's fair. You know what I mean? That's fair. Like, you can't, yeah. like... Are yeah. you a Spider-Boy? Yeah. Yeah, you, the, the teenage kid can't be your hero. Yeah. That's yeah. fair. That's yeah. fair. Yeah, he can't even, like, bag, like, Gwen Stacy, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, he's he's out here just unsuccessfully yeah. chasing tail. It's like, you're a superhuman. Yeah. You can't you, get laid, you, you pussy. fucking dweeb. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dork. But when you're a kid, yeah, Spider-Man's best. But once you're, like, a man, you gotta just... Yeah, that's fair. That's leave, fair. Leave the friendly neighborhood alone. Yeah, yeah, fuck that neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. We're here to save the world, bitch. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> come on. We're here to come dump an Asian bitches and leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spider-Man looks so dumb right now. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> what a puss. <laughs> you hear that, Andrew Garfield? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't talk shit about that. Because uh, my mom worked on with Tom Holland on the last Spider-Man. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I So are you, since you're kind of in the movie, but are you pro or anti all the, the Marvel superhero stuff? Dude, I love Marvel. Good answer, dude. I love more. Good answer. We're gonna Give keep me this even out. more. You know I mean? See, that's my feeling. Yeah. Like, everyone who, like, is like, oh, there aren't real movies. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. I we mean, they're, they're great. What do you yeah. need them to be? It's like Fast and Furious. Yeah, exactly. They're, yeah. They're, it's what do you need to be. Save a guy. It's entertainment. You'll feel good. It's not pushing an agenda. Yeah. Yeah, sorry it's not a gay Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I, yeah, I'm all for it. I like, but I always hate, like, Quentin Tarantino gets on and he's like oh i make real movies and it's like i get it no you don't but not everything needs to be like dripping blood out of my exactly. tv every second of the day quentin tarantino makes movies without them having superpowers okay like, I like that there's too. always still an action guy you yeah know what i mean very true yeah, all yeah. the blood scenes are still super gory yeah and you know? they're over the top to me over the yeah they're he does it with, without superpowers yeah Fucking dweeb. Yeah. Let me catch you outside, Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> uh, you know, fucking... We know a movie of Hooch won't be working on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but he, he said he only had one more, and then he was going to quit anyway. Yeah, So, good. fucking dork. Good. Fucking... fucking just... Wait, you just won't cash checks? Yeah. Like God, man? I hate that guy. I really do. <laughs> I do. I do. You guys are getting yeah. a real honest dude. <laughs> dude, I like this. I like dude, it's fucking it's the Zen, dude. It's the Zen. <laughs> you get a you get a Zen, you get God honest truth, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> Just uh wanna kill the homeless and uh totally decline on Tarantino. I can't believe you guys are saying this. You guys like Marvel movies more than Quentin Tarantino movies? Yeah, That's if what I it was, sound like. If I was gonna like. sit down and just put something on to enjoy and watch, it would be some superhero movie long yeah. before like it would be a long list before i probably got to a tarantino movie wow yeah. okay okay because also we talked about this the other day i think that uh what's the tarantino movie that everyone talks pulp about fiction pulp fiction that movie is pointless yeah they're there's, getting to end the story jumps yeah like, it, it doesn't it it's a pointless movie you want you spend two fucking hours and there's zero fucking point to the entire movie yeah the gay scene in pulp fiction is the most horrific yeah. Yeah. Where that black guy just gets fucking railed. Yeah. Yeah. Quentin yeah. Tarantino shoots hardcore porn. That's all he does. Yeah, and he's like, "This is a masterpiece," and I'm like, "I think we could have left it out." Yeah. There could have been some tongue in cheek. Would have been fine. Yeah. We don't. We don't need to know what's exactly happening to that detail. It's fine. Yeah. We can just be like, something bad happened in the basement. We can I, all infer. I think any nerd can make a Quentin Tarantino movie. <laughs> it was refreshing, though. Have you guys ever seen a like a gimp before on movies? You know. A gimp. Yeah, the guy in All Black. Yeah, but we don't need to see that. That's not yeah, something so yeah. I needed to see. Yeah. You know? But it exists. It's like opening up like Does something Does it really new. exist that much, though? Or did he glorify it? I mean... It's a thing, but like... I'm on a BDSM app, bro. Uh, I, there's a <laughs> See, it exists more in JP's life. Yeah, yeah it, it exists if you wear gray sweatpants. Yeah. 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 Get your ass ate, but like yeah. normal people. Yeah, JP's out here trying to show dick. Yeah. Like, like in, no shit on you. You're a good guy, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I think, I truly think any nerd can make it. That's all he is. He's a glorified nerd that made a lot of movies. Made, made like a lot this. of money. That's all it is. I like this. I like this take. Mm. Yeah. I'm not buying. Okay, what's the what's the, what's the point of Iron Man three? 
Okay, you can't pick the worst or one of the worst Marvel movies. But still a great movie, Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3 to me is like a, it's a C-class movie. It's good. It's fine to have on in the background. Yeah. It's not the best. Iron Man 1, one oh, of the best fucking movies of Knock all time. your dick off good. I remember watching that when I was eight with my dad. And yeah. I was like, this is what movies are. This is this, a, Yeah, this is cinematical masterpiece. This is an Oscar. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, I liked Iron Man 1. but Iron I Man 1 is um, one of the best movies of me of all time. The... Uh, it's no Reservoir Dogs, though. <laughs> <laughs> Who's just gonna have an aneurysm? He's like, I can't take it. <laughs> reservoir Dogs? Yeah, Give super it back fun. to Atlanta. So bad, dude. Oh my god, it's, it's shot a in like one place. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. And it's, it's like a play. It's a glorified play. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, no. what's wrong with plays? What? what, what the... It's so bad. It's so okay. bad. I don't know. It's actually pretty good. The ending is good. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, so if you're gonna make a movie, free range, what are you making? Let's start like start off with like a you doing comedy, you doing action, you doing superhero. Okay. The world's your oyster. Where's my oyster? Uh Hooch Productions. Hooch Productions. <laughs> uh there is one movie I would want to remake. I can answer that probably. Okay, better. you'd want to do a remake. <laughs> Alright, yeah. alright. Have you ever seen um Shit, it's slipping my mind. Uh, the Outsiders. Did you ever read The Outsiders book? I never read the book. That is one of my girl's favorite movies. Great book. Books to me. I don't... Re- I first book I ever read was when I was 21 years old, and it was The Outsiders. I respect that. You know what I mean? I respect being able to live that long and never read. That's, no, I never <laughs> read. That's awesome. I didn't read in high school, Spark Notes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I didn't even yeah. do Spark Notes, to be honest. I cheated on my tests. <laughs> yeah. I listened you know? to books. Yeah. Didn't do that as a kid. Yeah. Didn't read... Still question if I know how to read sometimes, um, but yeah, I'd remake Gold. I'd remake uh, the Outsiders. Outsiders. Okay. Is that Stephen King? No. No, it's uh, dude. What the hell was that guy? Tom Cruise is in it. Yeah, Tom Cruise Young is Tom in it. Cruise. Yeah, like as a little kid, we were talking about it the other day. Uh, it's got uh, the guy from the original Roadhouse, um, mm-hmm. Patrick, Patrick Swayze. Swayze. Pat- he's Rest like in the peace, Swayze. Yeah, he's like the badass older brother. Yeah. Um, yeah, we were talking about it the other day, JP. It's it's oh. like a... It's like the greasers in like... 50s. It, yeah. Like leather jackets. It's like a... It's a book about like gangs where it's like them versus the... What are the... The socks? It's like the rich preppy boys. Yeah. Yeah, so they're thing. like the jockey douchebags and then them. Oh, yeah. Would you keep it 50s? Oh, yeah. Or would you try to like modify it? I wouldn't mod. I'd keep it... Same time period, I would uh, maybe star in it to me. Okay, <laughs> who who would you be? Who would I be? Would you be Swayze? Would I be... I couldn't be Swayze because I'm not tall and big enough. I wouldn't want to disrespect Swayze. That's respectful. You know, that's respectful. This is a man of class. Swayze is one of the greatest <laughs> yeah. action movies ever. Yeah. You ever see Point Break with Swayze? Yes. Oh my gosh. Point Break is fantastic. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Roadhouse is a great movie. But it is also very 80s, very Roadhouse is what you need it to be, though. Yes, Roadhouse. Yeah, I like 80s action movies because they're they're over the top. They're kind of ridiculous. They're just movies. But they're just fun. Yeah, they're fun popcorn movies. Yeah. yeah. And that's what movies are supposed to be, just entertainment. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't need a female kicking ass. <laughs> like, I don't, need, I don't need a Captain Marvel. You know what I mean? <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yeah, Swayze, I'd do that. I wouldn't. I'd play like two bit, like okay. just a comic relief mm-hmm. in the gang. You know, talk some shit. That's what I would do. Yeah, and I'd get a whole cast of like new faces. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like no, no stars. It'd be, it'd be like all new guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we'd kill it. We would kill that shit. I like this. Yeah, I'd I want like it to that. be a TV show. Yes. Okay, give more. Yeah. I like the I like the TV show versus movie, right? Yeah. I like that more things have gone to that because the biggest complaint on most movies is that there's not enough story in them. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah, we have an hour and a half to two and a half hours. Yeah, like yeah. not everything can be four and a half hours. Yeah, but if you do a TV show where you're like, like we got, it's a it's a TV shows now ten like ta- hours. What Taylor Sheridan is doing, the yeah, Creative Yellowstone. It's like you, you just get a movie, but you get you know twelve. 12 movies out of it. Yeah. yeah. Which is amazing. Yeah. I like that. I also like that you can build, if you like have a TV series and it is popular, you can build a universe. Mm-hmm. I like the, I like whenever stuff is in, you know, cause like a lot of uh, Sheridan stuff 
he has like the universe. The, he had no. the Tulsa King, which I thought was really good. Ooh. The Mayor's uh, of Kingtown. Mayor's of Kingtown is one of my favorite. Have you ever seen that, JP? Mm-mm. Watch, you got to go watch. Yeah, that. watch Mayor of Kingstown. I think you'll like it. It's uh, this is a show. Yeah, it's a TV series. It's on Paramount Plus. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got the dude that plays Hawkeye. Uh, Jeremy Renner. Yeah, Jeremy Renner is like the main guy in it, and he's. Uh, it's in like a dilapidated shit town that basically their whole market is just a prison. Yeah. And it's about him being kind of like a a runner sort of thing. Like he's trying to balance the police and the gangs and the the crooked cops and the clean cop, and he's kind of trying to be like the the mob boss ish thing. He's, so like, he, he's, he's the glue that like keeps the city from killing itself. Yeah, he's the orchestrator of the thing. It's a great, it's like three seasons now, I think. So good. Whoa. It's fantastic. Okay. It's awesome. It flew kind of under the radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never heard of it. Like, my dad, my dad's good at like picking cool shows and stuff. And he's like, you gotta watch this. He's like, you'll like it. Love it. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's, to me, like that, if I was gonna make a TV show, I'd want to make something kind of like that. Yeah. Like, I would love to do like a comedy but I would love to do kind of like a series because also it's all kind of based in the thing of like at the end of the day there's no real right answer because it's life mm-hmm. I kind of like that in shows because you get into the characters and you're like oh yeah there's no good solution for the crooked cop and the gang member Yeah, like they're always going to eventually be mad and not like each other and yeah. think the one's getting up and the other you know and it also fun. just shows that like even the cops, like, it's like, yeah, they they have really good qualities and really bad qualities. Yeah. But it's like you can root for the cops because it's like, yeah, like they, they they you understand what why they're doing what they're doing, you know. One of their cops got killed, so good they're gonna retaliate. Yeah. But then it shows the side of like the gang. It's like, oh, they're they're being, you know, their their people are dying too, and they just want to survive. Yeah. It's like a true like whatever team you're on. It just shows like yeah, you just want to survive and provide for your family. Type yeah. Of thing. I see. Yeah. Huh, interesting. Yeah. I think yeah. you'll. I think that's a wreck I can give you that you'll like. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Eric and I, we don't get along on not not along, but um, we don't like the same shit. Yeah. At all. Yeah. So we haven't found many like movies or shows or stuff. To bridge the gap. Yeah. So yeah. I still need to watch that new show with uh, what's her name at the end of the world. Journey of the End of the World or something. Julia shit. Roberts. I forget the name of the movie, but yeah, some at, new Netflix. At, at the End of the World or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, some new Netflix movie. That I came saw out. Ted the entire show. Have you On guys? Peacock. Yeah. Have you guys? Do you, are you guys? Oh, the Seth TV MacFarlane? series. Yeah. I haven't watched I haven't, it. I don't got Peacock, but oh, okay. I heard it was really, really good. Super good. If you guys are into Family Guy, this is a live action Family Guy. Like, I like that. it's. I figure like comedians would really like it because mm-hmm. they are doing cartoony shit in with real cameras and. Putting still like the cartoon symphony music, mm-hmm. so fun. it's fucking fun, man. That's it's fun. really cool. That is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. See, I think that would be a lot of fun. I my problem is is I don't have a lot of interest in doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. There's like things I'd be like, oh, that'd be cool to make. But it's like I just want to tell jokes. Yeah. You know, I don't want to. Yeah. I definitely my end goal is I want to be. I'm gonna be not want to be. I'm gonna be a big comedian like Robin Williams and Kevin Hart. Okay. Where, like I do comedy, do movies, movies like Adam Sandler does. Bring back nice. the, bring back the good comedy movies. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I would also want to make like an Adam Sandler movie. Just yeah. stupid, funny comedy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's your What's your Sandler opinion? Oh, I, I I like his movies. Yeah, it's okay. fun. It's fun yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, I, say, I don't like action movies. I think it's my big thing about movies that I don't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Roadhouse and the other stuff that you were talking about, a lot of Swayze and stuff. Lethal yeah. Weapons, I've hated. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, Lethal Weapons, so fun. Really? Yeah. Okay. Lethal, I haven't seen those yet. Lethal Weapons, fun. It, you know, uh, yeah, it's just uh, Swayze and Danny Glover. Mm-hmm. Just or no, it's not. It's not Swayze. Isn't the cop in that? No. Is it? Uh, God damn it! I don't know. I don't know. We're right. out of my realm on this. Yeah, one. it doesn't matter. Mel it, Gibson. Mel Gibson. Yeah, so you had like Mel Gibson and Danny Glover, yeah. and they were they were fun, fun, good Mel, 80s. Mel 80s Gibson movies. has it right. Oh yeah, I support everything he's ever said. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's a Christian man. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's a God fearing man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, he's a good guy. He's a great guy. Yeah, that's beautiful. 
But so if you were gonna make your own movie, yeah. not do a remake, what what lane you think you're gonna go into? I would do a, I would do a. I like I like, what is it? Comedy and drama, like a drum com. Or okay. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Give me an example of what's a drum com. Uh, shit. Um. American Pie. Yeah, I think that's like. Uh, I think that's more just a pure comedy. But, okay, um, okay. A drum com would be. Have you ever seen The Boys on Amazon? No, Eric's recommended that. The yeah. Boys is amazing. Yeah, yeah. The where it's is... like it's very serious, but it's like, but it's like life. It's like life yeah. isn't always like. Oh no, we have to go do this. It's always like, fuck, dude, like we're screwed, yeah. type of thing. I got you. Like, yeah, because yeah, like life is. I think essentially life is more fun and funny than it is more depressed. Because yeah. even in depressing moments, it's still funny. Yeah. Like it might suck in that moment, but you're gonna walk away and be like, oh, yeah, I almost killed myself. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> yeah, like I was so dramatic. I had a rope up. Isn't yeah. that weird? <laughs> so I think I'm getting your flavor. So maybe like a situation where some bad things could happen, but there's still comedy, kind of like uh, overtones and stuff. Yeah, yeah, comedy, you know, elements. I think it's. I love movies where they're really good about building the tension of like a drama, and then they. Like how anybody does any like situation we're always caught in. Like there's super a lot of tension, and then you gotta relieve it with some type of comedy. And I think that's what a big part of like life is. So yeah, I would do something like that. Do you think that part of the reason uh, like slapstick comedies have gone away is because more movies are realizing the good use for comedy throughout them? Uh. Maybe I don't understand that question. So, <clears throat> I had this thought. I don't know, like Chris Farley stopped stick human. Yeah, like because a lot of yeah, a lot of like the Sandler. It seemed like there was more separation in movies back in the day. Like mm-hmm. in the in the eighties, if you had an action movie, they didn't have a lot of like comedic relief. Mm-hmm. A lot of the bitch that people have had about like Marvel movies is they use this like kind of tone of comedic relief throughout. Mm-hmm. But it does seem kind of natural. Like, yeah. something's going on and somebody is like, go fuck yourself. And, you know, it's kind of like the quick little funny thing and then back to the thing that's going on. <clears throat> I have had this thought that part of the reason uh, that the, like, slapsticky stuff has gone away a little bit is because audiences have become more drawn to, like, wanting everything. Yeah. They want a funny action movie with a good storyline and a romance in it. They don't want a rom- a romance movie. They don't want a comedy movie. They want they want to just like watch life. Yeah, they want to watch everything together. Yeah, and I think that that might be, in my opinion, part of the reason that you're seeing less of these like individual like why there's not a lot of like the Sandler movies. He's still making his, of course, and they're still great. Yeah. But I think maybe part of the reason is, in my thought, is that people want everything. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like, there's not like the there's not like just a true like just comedy movie yeah. anymore. Like, you'll never see like a Chris Farley or a Tropic Thunder. Yeah. Type of movie. Uh, I think I think it's just because everybody in Hollywood now, they they suck and they can't make those <coughs> movies. Yeah, I think they're too afraid to like take the chance. Mm-hmm. Cause I mean, dude, you make the budgets for movies are so crazy. Yeah, like the the crew, you know what I mean? Like from everything, it's like they don't want to take the gamble. Yeah, on that. Yeah, cause if you have million billions of dollars invested. Yeah, it's like oh, we can't yeah. ride on that. You know, that's yeah. why Marvel movies are so good. It's cause it's like you're gonna you know spend two million, two hundred million dollars. Yeah, you know you'll make that back on box office because yeah. Marvel's just so good. I think if they could make a good slapstick comedy movie, I think it could be made. You just got to make it le- real like life. Yeah. But there's still slap- slapstick humor in life. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Absolutely. You know how many times I've hit the wrong door, opening it up, you know, <laughs> ran into it. Like, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah. I still do slapstick humor uh, in real life to make people laugh. Yeah. I just don't think anybody's taken that chance. I think it's trends, man. I think, okay. it, like, if you are wanting to write... You, it might be important to like uh, avoid those type of like um, like noticing the trends, man. Because every now and then you can come up with a movie just because you're passionate about it, and mm-hmm. it's not um, 
in right now and you might be looked at as the innovator of the moment you know what i mean okay. but yeah i agree with that I mean, yeah. there's even like a South Park episode where they talk about like the political correctness being on like rotation. And there's like, uh, oh shit, when is this going to go away? Well, last time it took about seven years, you know what I mean? And yeah. I, I was cracking up because I do see that. Yeah. And the superhero movies, it's kind of like producers have been playing with that with TV shows yeah. and like Star Wars and yeah, shit yeah, like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Horror movies that have started since the 70s have been very episodic too, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's like a yeah. growth and like, a rotation, I feel. You know what I mean. Everything kind of has its cycle. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I do think I do think we're ready again for like. I um, agree. I think the slapsticky stuff, man. Like a yeah. good, like new Will Ferrell guy, like a young Will Ferrell or like Adam Sandler type yeah. or something. I think yeah, we're on just, trend for that again. Yeah. 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 See, I I agree. I also think the there's been a shift. The the culture's kind of shift. like everyone got to the point where they're like, all right, we want to you know, try to be nice and be inclusive and blah, blah, blah. And then it's gotten to the point where, like, now everything's too over the top. Like the South Park thing where they did the uh, uh, Cartman or whatever. It's supposed to be, like, the head of Disney as a woman. And <laughs> they're like, oh, well, we're going to make this movie. And she said, well, uh, ha- have a woman and make her trans <laughs> and make her the star and have a woman and make her yeah. trans. That's how yep. we make movies now. So I think it, it probably you're probably right that it probably just has gotten to the point where now people are like, okay, now this is all that's happening. Let's get back into the other side because I think the A24 movement is kind of mm-hmm. happening. A24 like, is huge, dude. Yeah, like I they love them. they were like this uh, alt. I guess alt isn't really the right word, but they were kind of indie. Yeah, yeah, indie. Super indie. Yeah, they're like indie, and now. Every one of their movies, the second it comes out, everyone's like, that's the shit you got to watch. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So they're, you know, the, the, I think the more serious stuff is coming back. And I think if we can get a different, like, if we can get the more serious movies, I think you can also get the full slapstick movies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I agree. Like, that might be the thing where it's like, oh, do you want to watch this or that? Yeah. I think a big part of it is, like, like you were saying with culture, like, a lot of people, I don't know how, how old are you? I'm 25. 25. So we're around the same age. Yeah, I'm 23. Yeah. I think the whole like generation before us, so they were like, yeah, everything has to be political correct and this and that. But like our generation, we're like, yeah, we're tired of that shit. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm tired of having to accommodate for everything. And like if you really look at it, it's like most people feel our way. Yeah. We're just not the loud mouse on like Twitter and shit because yeah. we're too busy just living our lives. Yeah. It's like, yeah, like everybody, most people in America, it's like a gay person, trans. It's like, yeah, cool. Like, I don't yeah, care. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if I see one, it's like, I'll treat him like a human. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to spit on him, you know yeah, what I mean? It, yeah. If you're a dick, I'll be a dick to you. If yeah. you're cool, we'll be if cool. If you're cool, like a person. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't care what you believe in. It's like, yeah. I think yeah. a lot of America is now getting to that point where it's like, mm-hmm. yeah, you can't to culture, woke shit, it's over. Yeah. yeah. 2024. Like, goodbye. You had yeah. your fun. Yeah. Well, and also, I think the one of the w- thoughts I've kind of had is that it's whatever generation is kind of like running workforces. Mm-hmm. So whenever like JP is about 40. So Damn. whenever <laughs> Sorry. That, that gray in his beard is earned. My man. Yeah. So like whenever he was getting into stuff, it was the parents, parents that were kind of still running shit. And then they were like, okay, everyone's being shitty and dickish and not hiring people and being shitty at gay people for no reason. I don't feel that that stuff was really as much of a thing in my life. Yeah. Like, like real homophobia, real racism. I've wasn't, never, I've it never. wasn't really popular in our age range, in my yeah. opinion. Like, if somebody, if you were around somebody that was around our age range, and they really felt that way, it was. It's not the common. <laughs> no. You're like, what the fuck is your problem? These are just people who gives a fuck. And you always shitted on them. Yeah. So then, whenever we were getting bitched at about the stuff that people were mad about the way their parents were doing stuff. I think that might be the reason of the culture shift sometimes Yeah, is it's the, the next generation is just like, yeah, yeah, we get it. No one cares about being gay or trans or black, white, Asian. It doesn't matter. Just be cool. So whenever we're hearing the stuff of like, Oh, it, it, you can't do this and you can't do that. It's like, that's nah. not even a thing anymore. Yeah. It's like, this doesn't apply. And I think racism, I, 
I'm an optimistic. I think racism will eventually die out. Yeah. Because, like, it's gotten to the point, like, you, you know, our parents, our grandparents, it's like, they were more in the heart of, yeah. you know, the diversity in school. I mean. Just like, kind of happening. Like, like yeah. okay, like, n- now the Jews are going to drink our water. Like, that was a more, yeah. <laughs> they had to worry about that. Yeah. They, you know? Yeah. But yeah. in our age, it's like, it's like, no, it's like, I think our kids and then, you know, when we're grandparents, it's going to be like, yeah, everybody's just chill and it's kind of died because we're not. Yeah. Yeah, Nick always talks about Nick Vandervoort. He goes, racism is funny until it's actually a racist person. Yeah, until Because racism yeah. is funny. Like, it's yeah. funny to make white jokes. It's funny to make... It's fun. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, stereo- stereotypes are... F- it's fun. <laughs> they're fun. They're playful yeah. as I long as... Yeah, they're yeah. the best. Yeah. But, like, when somebody's actually racist, everybody's like, dude, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, what what has happened? That's not funny anymore. Yeah. It's like, no, you idiot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I, that's fine. It, yeah, it's the pool is always fine until people start peeing in it. Yeah, even peeing in the pool. Don't take a log. Like, don't don't shit in the yeah. pool. Yeah, yes, quit shitting. In the, <laughs> quit shitting in the pool, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> everybody can pee in the pool. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, but I think just... eventually racism will die out, and I, I think there's gonna be a giant shift where everybody's gonna be like, yeah, I'm tired of the agendas. Just make a fun movie. Yeah, just yeah. make me laugh. I like it. I yeah. like that. I love. I love your outlook. You and uh, you and Hunter Parker, who's been on before, make sure you check that out. Both very positive guys. Yeah. I like the way you guys look at things. And um, we uh, unfortunately have to wrap up here. We're getting towards the end. But do you have anything you want to plug, promote? You're doing a lot of cool shit and yeah. comedy. Yeah. Uh, Ty Rare and friends every Wednesday at the Creek in the Cave. Um, that's a huge show that I've been on and will continue to be on. Okay. Uh, plug that and then that's really just it alright awesome Hooch uh, what's your Instagram it's just Hooch 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 alright yeah. Hooch Hooch on Instagram uh, JP I know you got the album coming out yeah I'm working on an album um, hopefully to be released in August you can follow me at JP with the good hair on, on Instagram they yeah, do have a good solid head of hair thank you yeah I know it yeah, it is thick it's very <laughs> it thick. thick it's <laughs> nice I like it yeah <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. See this that mind control. Yeah, <laughs> he's got us. He's got. <laughs> if you could just get us to like the ass hair. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah say uh, follow me, Eric Biggs Comedy. I got some show stuff coming up. Follow the Instagram. Uh, but hey, thank you very much for thank coming you guys. on, sir. This was a lot of fun. Cheers. Get a cheers, everybody. Thank you. Cheers, cheers JP. Buddy. Cheers, uh, man. I should have cheers. <laughs>